Have you ever played Metroid or Castlevania? If not, let me tell you, those games are a nightmare for casual gamers with OCD tendencies. They feature levels designed to loop into other levels and then eventually back into themselves over and over again. My name is Byron Liu. I'm an onco-hospitalist at Cooper University Hospital in Camden. In my understanding of the pathophysiology of COVID-19 infection, as it stands now, feels a little like a Castlevania level, with molecular cascades and tissue regulatory pathways interacting with both other processes and themselves, with redundancies at multiple levels. But it's becoming apparent to frontline clinicians that COVID-19 is driving mortality through something on top of classic ARDS, and the fact that SARS-2 coronavirus enters cells using ACE2, an enzyme key to regulating RAS activity, puts foundational pathophysiology squarely in the center of the storm. In this two-part video, I present my understanding of this pathophysiology as a walkthrough for this awful video game on two scales, first at a molecular level and then at an organ level. In this first part, we'll keep it on a micro scale, and then in part two, we'll talk about interacting cascades at the level of the heart and lungs and how these pathophysiologic loops inform current trials for drug treatment. Hype! Here we go. So we're starting small. There's been a lot of talk about how blockade of interleukin-6, or IL-6, an inflammatory cytokine, may lead to improved mortality. So that's not a bad place to start. Levels of IL-6 are high in severely ill patients with COVID-19. And it turns out that IL-6 and RAS may be more closely linked than I'd known. IL-6 levels are increased with exposure to high levels of angiotensin II. Furthermore, there is RAT data suggesting that high levels of IL-6 then increases expression of the angiotensin II receptor. This feels like a political conflict of interest, with angiotensin II making it possible to augment its own power to activate RAS even harder. But hey, it's 2020. In any case, with upregulation in RAS, there is a propensity to cause systemic vasoconstriction, which we all know. Let's go back to IL-6, which has other, more classically known functions, really to increase overall oxidative stress. This correlates with high levels of CRP found in severely ill infected patients. This we know leads to endothelial intimal damage. And you know what else causes endothelial damage? Systemic vasoconstriction. During the March 18th, 2020 chat between the American College of Cardiology and Chinese Cardiovascular Association, it came up that autopsies in China showed myocardial injury with no viral inclusions, but with extensive microthrombi. And why would that be? Well, we've got two hits on the endothelial injury, and from that same webinar, there are reports of levels of D-dimer and FDP being poor prognostic factors in infection. D-dimer and FDP both describe breakdown products of clot, which implies the presence of clot. Well, these can just be reflective of an inflammatory state in general, in context, I don't think it's unreasonable to hypothesize that clotting in small vessels may contribute to the overall disease state at a more macroscopic level. So, vasoconstriction from RAS, endothelial intimal damage from IL-6, and propensity for microthrombus formation in a DIC-like pattern. That's the takeaway I personally get from this, the microscopic level. These videos are a way to mitigate my own anxiety and, let's be real, anger. This pandemic is historic and we can't lose sight of the very real struggles of the coming weeks to months. However, as I make these, I'm reminded of the ingenuity of our clinicians and the shocking importance of basic science. My conjectures here are obviously not peer-reviewed data and reflect a single point in time, March 21st, 2020. But if you like this, hit like and subscribe and tell me your thoughts on med Twitter. I'll see you for the next episode where I go through how this interacts with cascades at a more macroscopic level in the heart and lungs, Stay tuned. This has been a production of I Am Sketchpad.